parents, I'm holding up this little sheet here because we are going to use this as a review. Looks like this. If they say they don't have homework, uh, it's a big lie. This is what we're doing for homework. But I'm going to explain it. We are not coloring this until this part of the sheet is is finished. So we're starting this in class. It's a little bit before 10. Uh, I'm going to go over one of them because it talks about the order of operations, right? We have to remember what the order of operations is. So I'm going to do number one. Everyone has their journals out. Everyone has their journals out. Next clean sheet of paper. Number one says this. It says three-fifths times open parentheses one-fourth plus three-fourths close parentheses equals our answer. Yes? So let's think real quick. It's been a while. We haven't done uh, order of operations in a while. I like to remember it in three steps, okay? First, my first step, I'm going to look to see if I have any uh, parentheses or any brackets. I kind of already see them. I should already know what my first step is. Let's go over number two. Number two is multiplication or division. My last one is addition or subtraction. It's whichever one comes first from left to right, yes? These are my steps right here. I'm just going to box them out right here, okay? These are the steps that I should have in my brain. Okay, this is what I'm going to follow. What am I going to do first? Okay? okay I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer it for today. Okay? I'm going to do my parentheses. I am, how can I multiply three-fifths? I don't know what I'm multiplying it by. I have to solve what I have in parentheses first. Lucky for you guys. Oh, you're so lucky. Guess what? Our denominators are already equal. So do I need common denominators? No. I already have them, so just add. Okay, so I'm going to do this first. I'm going to add 1 fourth plus 3 fourths. Yes? So 1 fourth plus 3 fourths, that's going to be 4 fourths. Right? 4 fourths equals 1 whole. Right? So this really simplifies to 1. Right? If I need 4 pieces and I have 4 pieces, I have 1. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes? Awesome, my friends. So I'm going to work all my work down. I am going to put... 3 fifths times 1. Yes, I already solved this. This is me solving it right here. I'm going to bring everything down. Yes? And I put it together with my solution, which is 1. Now, I'm going to go through the steps. Obviously, we should know what the answer is to this. The answer is going to be 1. But I'm going to show you how this works. Yes? I am going to give 1. What do I give 1 if I'm going to multiply? I'm going to give it a denominator. That denominator is going to be 1. Then I just multiply across. 3 times 1 is 3. We still give it a denominator. I'm just going through the steps because obviously 1 times 3 fifths is 3 fifths. Right? But I want to go through the steps because this one's, it wasn't a great example. I didn't look, I didn't, right? I didn't preview this. But I want to go through the steps so we understand when we multiply, we have to give. Well, we don't have to, but it just makes it easier. We talked about it in our last video. It makes it easier for us to multiply when we give that whole number a denominator. Then all we do, multiply across, and we get our answer. 3 times 1 is 3. 5 times 1 is 5. And my answer is 3 fifths. So whichever one, <coughs> which, uh, if any of the answers on the other side, if they have 3 fifths, I'm going to color that one. It says to color it orange. So I'm going to color. I already gave you the first one. I'm going to color all my three-fifths, I'm going to color them orange. Does that make sense? Okay. No, we're not going to do that. Because are we coloring before we start? No. No. We have to finish all 12 problems. This is a great review. It reminds us about order of operation. Tomorrow we will see it in our exam. We do have an exam tomorrow. Parents adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. Guys. The most important thing in our word problems is to do what? Read closely. Oh, no, we have to say it all together so everyone can hear at home. One, two, three. Read, Read carefully. Read carefully. Read yes. Closely. One more time. Read, Read carefully. carefully. There we go. Parents, you heard it. I heard it. Uh, check, out, check me out in my next video. Bye-bye.